Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is MG The Future. Thank you guys for joining me on my channel today. If you're new to my channel, this particular video is like a form of one of my discussions. It's where I go through different topics and ideas and review some emails and uh, text messages or DMs I've gotten through the week and kind of formulate it and share my thoughts about it, about a particular subject. In this particular video, I'll just be talking about DistroKid and how to use it to build yourself up as a producer or beat maker in 2018. And one of the things that triggered this video was a text message or DM that I got on Twitter. And I'm gonna read it to you. So this is what he said to me. <laughs> MG the future, is putting out a beat tape such a crazy thing to do in 2018? And that was such an interesting question to me. In fact, I replied to him, um, by saying, do you think that's crazy? <laughs> because if you think that's crazy, tell me why you think that's crazy and then I'll break it down for you. But he didn't respond to that inquiry yet. Anyways though, I did think about it and I've been kind of like meditating on it in the background of my subconscious mind. And while he's asking that, I watched a few other videos and had discussions with other people. I think I was talking to CMP on Blackout again on Black Ops 4. I watched the producer's grind podcast they uh, had um, a special guest superstar O on there one of the legends from the sound clip days and i was hearing what he was saying and one of the things he was asked was if you had to start all over again and you're a brand new producer in 2018 and you were to sell beats would you use a beat store and what he said surprised me he said it would be overrated he said that there's so much saturation in this particular market that everyone's selling beats so you no longer stand out anymore versus the MySpace days where there's so many more rappers and people making mixtapes and finding good beats were harder to find. And if they didn't know about SoundClick, they probably didn't know where to get beats from unless it was local. So you having a beat store, you making direct contact with prospect artists were definitely a viable path for income, especially if you were good at what you were doing. Whereas today you can just type on YouTube. He didn't say this, but I'm saying this. You just go on YouTube and type in little baby type beat and anyone who looks up to him and wants to make a song like that will find at least 20 variations of a beat that they can use. So with all that being said, considering I've done a similar video about DistroKid seven to eight months ago, a lot of what I said in that video still stands today. The, the one way to kind of stand out from anybody and everybody today is to officially release your music on all platforms and possibly positioning it as you're an artist more so than a beat maker. And of course, that's been a big industry debate when we see some of the legends talk about the difference between producers and beat makers. Well, we can skip past going all that and just become producers and self-release our own music. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few tips on how to do that um, for different scenarios. One scenario came up as well, as it always do. The universe always does things in threes for me. I got an email from DistroKid alerting me that I've been added to a team. And this is very interesting to me because I didn't expect it. It says, good news, artists uses DistroKid to sell their music. You've been added to the team for one or more tracks. This means that you'll automatically earn a percentage of revenue generated by set tracks. And then it gives you the instructions on how to set that up. And there's a little code that they put here. And basically, if you have an existing DistroKid account, um, you go to Teams, and I'll show you how to do this. For anyone who's adding other people, and you're the main producer, and you're adding artists or collaborators, or if you're on the receiving end of it, pause. Well, I'm gonna go to Teams. And with that code that they emailed me, what you do is you click on got an invitation code. And when you click on that, you put in the code, you click join team, and it'll take you to a breakout box of all the tracks that you've been added to and what the splits are. On the flip side, if you're doing the uploading and choosing the teams, you can select a release like I'll do here, click on next. And here you just add team members. You'll add their email. If they're a previous collaborator, they'll show up. So if it's someone you're collaborating with often, they'll stay in the list. Or you select a new team member, put in their email address, put in the split they're supposed to get, and then review the changes, tell it to go. And then once they accept that and receive that email, similar to the one that I got, they'll be on the team. And then when you go to your bank and stuff, you'll be able to see the different splits for the track when revenue from stream starts to pour in. So when I click on my music, you'll see the stuff that I uploaded at the top and all the different stores that it's in. And this is great. And I'll talk about this in a minute. And then down here is all the things that I'm part of a team on, these different tracks that this particular artist and producer added me to and the splits that I'm getting. And all of that is sent to your bank when you start generating revenue. So it's really cool, full streamlined experience. So as you can see, I've only done two on this particular platform because in my mind, I'm always racking up like, yo, I wanna do all of these projects 
work with all these people and deal with all these things and I don't know how to do it perfectly and I don't want to spend too much time with trial and error. So because of these different events that have been happening within the last week or two, I've been getting all the answers. It's such a beautiful thing because I was hitting a crossroads with other things creatively and everything always brings me back to do what you said you were going to do. Release your own music and stop waiting around for other people. That's the macro. The micro is, well, now I know how the teams work. Everything seems clear there. The money shows up in the bank. I finally got some streaming revenue from DistroKid, so it's real. I was able to switch it and send it to my PayPal account. I received that. That's real. And also, they added other platforms that you can receive money on, so you don't necessarily have to use PayPal, which is always a plus, especially for people who may be from a different country. But anyway, I would say for me, my top three stores for having my music available to people is going to be people who use the iPhone because it's one of the most popular phones here. So I got to get to the iTunes store. I got to get to Spotify because I listen to it on my PS4. So I know other gamers and stuff have the ability to listen to music from Spotify in real time. So there's no problem for me to go on the Call of Duty mic or Fortnite mic and be like, yo, search MG the future. I can hear the music blasting in our team chat. And they could play my music through Spotify. And then, of course, with support of Jay-Z and Young Guru and the likes, I have a title subscription myself. So those are the main three. Those are included. Apple Music, Instagram Music. Oh, that one's lit, too. The Instagram thing, if you take pictures of something and you go to the additional uh, tags, like you got hashtags, locations, and things like that to your pictures or videos, well, one's called Music. So DistroKid allows your songs to show up in Music. My two existing songs took about a week to get switched to that particular platform. So that's always interesting. So you can have the high quality playback, 15 seconds for the um, story videos to play in your story of your tracks. So it gives you a lot of cool ideas and ammunition for promoting um, your beat tape or whatever it is when it comes out just by using everyday photos and videos. Um, it's it, it saves you the step of going into iMovie or uh, HitFilm or something and making these videos to add your music when Instagram will just do it for you. And then you can save that story um, of all tracks, say it's six tracks, six videos, save the whole story with all six. That'll be about a minute or so, and then upload that to Twitter, and then upload that to Facebook, or upload it to YouTube, depending on how creative you get with what you're capturing. So stay woke out here. I'm just trying to give away free game. So anyway, another thing that's different though, is that when you use DistroKid and you pay for it, they automatically help you get verified and I, I don't know how serious that is to some of you. Some people don't care about that. Um, I know a few brothers who are YouTube verified. I don't know how they did that. You know, if you're on Twitter, you always see people are verified and Instagram people are verified. Well, I'm not verified on any of those things, but I am verified on Spotify. And of course, you could change your background image. And one of the other things I was telling you guys about is that you can make your own playlist with your friends, your collaborators or popular music. And with that playlist, pin it to your Spotify profile and then use that playlist as a mechanism to help all of you guys. Like you guys can all share that playlist on all your profiles. Um, this is really something you might see with Chilled Cow, something you might see with the SoundCloud guys and the YouTube channels that upload lo-fi instrumentals. You'll notice that all the artists that they're using are in the same playlist on Spotify, therefore increasing everyone's plays and streams, thus money. Um, you could do that yourself now. You can make your own official playlist kind of thing feature it on all your artist profiles and you know form a collective of the sorts digitally and throw anything in it it doesn't just have to be all music it just be great tunes and then you slide your tunes in there and create an experience for the listeners and this is what it looks like once you're into spotify artists um you could change things it looks way groovier when you have way more tracks and it also looks a lot better when you have way more plays than i do all right, so the next thing is, how do I get a verified Spotify artist profile? Real simple, click on settings, click on Spotify for artists, follow the instructions, boom. So you guys don't have to go through a whole lot of hoops. And that's $20 a year, so don't fret. So the next thing I wanna talk about, which is probably um, very important for my core. So I had to send an email out to another service or another CEO of the sorts. And actually he hit me up first. He thanked me for doing a track review of TrackLive. So TrackLive is dope. TrackLive is a Swedish site, if I'm not mistaken. And what they do is they upload tracks that are able to be cleared for sample clearance. So basically you can go here, find the samples, buy them as a download, high quality wave download, um, flip it in Serato or however you do it, 
and then come back later when you're ready to release it, um, buy a license for it so you have permission to use it, and then do the splits in such a way that you don't have to worry about, you know, DMC takedowns or people trying to squeeze monetization from you, especially if you have a hit on your hands or something that's viral more, more realistically. So this is a really cool service. So they hit me up out of the blue one time and he says, greetings, MG, wanted to respond to you personally and thank you for all your support you give in Track Live, including the review. I know the guys from DistroKid, they're truly innovators and it's a great service. We figured out a very simple way for people that use DistroKid to share revenue properly. There's already a Teams feature which allows automatic revenue splits. So that's what I was talking about earlier. So anyone distributing a new song in TrackLive with a sample from TrackLive can easily just add this email as a team member and enter the percent as specified in the sample license. Here's an explanation how it works. But basically, in the licenses that you buy from these samples, it'll tell you what the split should be with the sample. You put that into the Teams box and they'll get, I guess, an alert on their side. They accept it and then everything's good money from there. And then what will happen is if you still have a problem with it because some AI or algorithm detected the horns from Alta Vodagem, <laughs> then when you uh, interact with them and they ask you for proof, then you send that license that you buy from Track Live, and the median license are $50 each. So if you do a beat tape of six sample tracks or EP with six sample tracks with a rapper or something, you would pay, you know, the $1.99 per track, which is what, $12 or so, and then you'd pay the 50 times six, $300 to clear everything, which is way cheaper than trying to clear samples directly through the source for certain artists or groups. That's that on top of all of that. So my lo-fi heads, my hip hop heads, my sample bass heads, you guys do have a lot of options and using the teams to do so would be very useful to you. So that's pretty much everything I got about that in terms of DistroKid and some of the dope things that it does with Teams. And if you go to news.distrokid.com, you'll also see a lot of other cool things. Like it's almost like their tuto tutorials and features about things and suggestions that they give you. They actually teach you how to use their platform, which I think is really dope. And like I said before, it's only uh, $20 a year. What are we talking about? And if you get other people to sign up, you get a couple of dollars. I think it's like $5 at a time. And if you get people on your team and they sign up, they get a 50% discount. So it's like $10 for the first year. It's a really dope thing that they're doing. And of course it goes everywhere else outside of SoundCloud and Spotify. But yeah, any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or anything that I touched on, let me know in the box below. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. If you're not a subscriber, definitely subscribe. Um, and hopefully we, we rock out 2018 with some more releases up there from beat makers and lo-fi producers and those of the sorts. And hopefully if you've been kind of standing on the edge wondering what to do with your art next, that this kind of pushes you over and lets you jump head first. And also, of course, I do have an affiliate link where you save some money from joining um, DistroKid and things like that. That'll be in the description if you want to save a few bucks for your first year. And we're good to go, man. Hope you guys have a great day. Until next time. Peace.